I want you to understand this family, that we are all walking around suffering from the same thing, and that is toxicity or acidity. Now, acidity is going to do two things in the body. It's either gonna make an organ hyper or hypo. So either the fire is going to stimulate and make it run faster, or it is going to burn it for so long that it depletes the function of that organ. Now, depending on your genetic makeup and your lineage and your unique traumas is going to determine whether it is hyper or hypo. So just because it is in a different place in the body does not mean that it's a different root cause. We are all walking around holding acidity in the form of toxic thoughts, toxic food, drink. So when it comes to healing these things, it's actually very simple. If it's in a hyper or overactive state, it's simply just removing that inflammation. If it's in a hypo or underactive state, we have to find herbs or certain exercises to power that organ back up. And when these organs are hyper or hypo, the amount of symptoms that can come from it is infinite. That's why the medical thinking of going after the symptom does not do anything. Because even though we can have toxicity in the same exact organs, our symptoms based on our traumas can reflect differently on the outside. So first things first, before you grab an herb or a meal plan, get a journal and write down what your symptoms are. Connect it with what state the organ is in, whether hypo or hyper. Then I want you to write down which toxic food, toxic drink, toxic friend, toxic mindset is leading you to have this organ problem. And when you bring in that awareness that something is actually wrong, and then you bring in the accountability that you are the one responsible for your healing, that's how you start your healing journey.